my name is Amy Lucky and I'm filling in for my sister Amelia because she couldn't be here today. She's at a Botox appointment. I spent a few years in the US and that's when I picked up this accent. My guest today is uh, Sally Brownbill, career consultant. Thank you, Sally, for being here for today. I really appreciate you being so flexible with me. My sister's written some notes here. Thanks for having me, Amy. It's a pleasure, Sally. Yeah. You can take me around Australia anytime. Okay. So, you're going to talk to us today about how to get work. That sounds pretty important for students. One of the things that students often do is wait until a job is advertised. What I like to say to all of you is don't, don't wait for jobs to be advertised because you're all going to be applying for them. Find out companies or agencies that you want to work for, people that you've met along the way, ring them, contact them, LinkedIn them, social media, message them. Just say, I've graduated now, I really love what your company's doing, can I come and meet you? Put yourself out there, don't wait for jobs to be advertised. I think that's really important. Look at your network, look at who your family knows or talk to some of your lecturers and who might they know. A warm call is where it's like, hi, my name is Amy and my fr uh, you know, I've recently worked with Sally Brownbill and she c told me to connect with you. And it's like, oh, how's Sally? So that becomes a warm call because all of a sudden you're talking to somebody that knows somebody that you know. So try using your network to get in there. If you don't know anyone and it's a company that you love the work of, Again, just ring them, there's no harm. I mean, people want people that are hungry and that have, you know, courage to come in and put themselves out there. That's what we're looking for, it's advertising. I really liked your idea about combining social media posts with a regular newsletter. You describe promoting yourself like an actual business. Well, it's what you guys are going into. It's the area you're going to. You, you're a brand. And how do you represent yourself? And how do you present yourself? So there's so many facets to every business. And it's about talking about them really clearly. Um, and going at different levels to to do that, whether it's on social media or whether it's direct EDMs. And, and as a student, it's no different. You know, I want you out there. I want you talking to people. I want you on social media, I want you looking at what I'm doing and what other companies are doing so that you have good conversation. It gets back to that whole notion of being interested mm -hmm. and interesting. Mm -hmm. Really important that you're able to talk about what's going on in the industry or what current trends are or something that you saw yesterday. That's what people are wanting when they're talking to you. If you're constantly talking about them or reposting them or tagging them, they're going to get to know who you are. And if all of a sudden you ring up one day and say, look, I've been, you know, they're going to go, why do I know that name? Or mm. this person's been following me on social media for a while. Don't be frightened of picking up the phone, you know, sending text messages. As I said, don't do it to the one person like you're stalking them. You've got to be a little bit careful how you do it. But, you know, I love it when people ring me. Thank you, Sally. My pleasure. I'll send Amelia here next week. I hope she's okay. Like, what did she, like, lips or...? Yeah, yeah, lips and uh, forehead, no. that's her, uh, that's okay. her specialty. Right, hope she's okay. Mm -hmm.